Hello, we are going through the practice documents that are there on nomoreplatform.com which will help the aspiring candidate to do better in the test. The next document is how to earn more money. Now this is not relevant right now but I am sure when you appear at the test you would want to know how you can do better on the platform and get more money out of your work. So let's click on this document and uh, let's go through it. This document describes what it takes to be successful on the platform. Get higher ratings and earn more money. Now it says how to get more projects and earn more money. Obviously, you will earn more money when you have more projects. Okay. Now in this document, which is like uh, 11 pages long, they have talked about the rating system. They have talked about how admins rate and what you should do and what you should not do as a specialist. Now, no more rating system rewards specialists who do great work. You need to do a great work and you will be equally rewarded. Okay. Now they're saying no more believes that talent knows no borders. The rating system reflects this statement. You are rated on each project you do. The goal is to provide smooth and enjoyable project execution and for everyone, the specialists, the admins and the clients. Okay. The admins provide the rating based on how close the slides are to being client ready. Okay. And uh, the rating ensures that it is always the best qualified specialist that gets the work. The better you do on each project, the more projects you will get. So the idea when you are working on nomoreplatform.com is to do only quality work and uh, deliver the best PowerPoint presentations that you can create. Now the key takeaway in this slide is ratings and feedback will determine your future success on the platform, how much work you will get and how much you will earn. Now high quality uh, meeting deadlines and availability drives ratings. These are the top three important things on which you will be deter uh, you'll be rated by the admins or the project managers. First is quality. Slides follow guidelines. There is no content missing and the slides look good. That is the quality of your work. Deadline is you submit before the given deadline. In case you experience any form of issues, you need to inform the admin in time and availability. You are available to implement changes after submission. Now it is important that you submit your work much before the deadline and keep some buffered time with you so that if uh, there are some fixes required by the admin or some rework that you need to do on the slides, you can do that and still submit it within the deadline. That is very important and you should be available to take those feedback from the admin and implement them on your project. You provide updates to the admin as well and that is also important while you are in the project and it is going on, you are working on it, you need to provide update to the admins if they ask specifically. In some projects, they will ask exactly, uh, they will give you milestones like uh, after doing this many things, this much of the work, you give me an update and then again the next update after uh, doing 60% of the work then that kind of communication is very important that will also uh, increase your ratings on availability. Okay, so these three are most important. The better you do, the more projects you get and more you earn. Now you get a notification about new projects before other specialists if you are a high rated uh, specialist already. Okay, you get the notification better before the other specialists. Then high ratings are chosen first on projects. Now any new project comes, it will first go to those who have high ratings. Only when they have enough in their plate or they reject a project, that will go to the um, those specialists who have little lesser rating. Now the third one thing is uh, can apply and uh, if you have a higher rating, you can apply to all projects. Okay, Hard projects require a high rating. So you cannot just take hard projects with uh, more variable and additional fees. You cannot take if you are having a low rating. Only those uh, specialists will have a chance of getting those projects who have a high rating. Okay, And at the end of this, you end up earning more money 
with a high rating okay so if you have got high rating with uh, 10 in 10 then there are more chances that you will earn much more than others top tier specialists who consistently receive 10 in ratings can earn in the range of 500 to 1330 USD depending on the hours they have worked admins answer if they would like to work with the specialist again okay now here they have explained the rating system based on the project alone on that particular project that you are working on how likely are you to recommend working with this specialist again here is a 10 point scale where number one means that the admin is very unlikely to work with that specialist again on any other project and number 10 means it is very likely that the admin will give that particular agent or specialist one more project okay now what are these ratings actually now they have uh, ratings explained they have mentioned the ratings here okay 10 means extremely likely to recommend for the next project okay 9 means likely to recommend 8 is neutral so you need to understand your target should be to get any of these two the first two either 9 or 10 okay 8 is neutral that means you have done a okay job which may not be of the highest quality now 7 means neutral or not recommendable now the admin may not recommend you for the next project if you get a 7 rating 6 rating will say that probably not recommended now the admin will not recommend you if you get a 6 point the, the probabilities are higher okay only if the other agents are or other specialists are having a lot of work and they are not able to meet uh, take more work only then you can be recommended if you get a 6 rating okay 5 is negative uh, 4 is unlikely to recommend you will not get a recommendation if you are getting a 4 for sure very unlikely to recommend is 3 would not recommend is 2 and don't expect any more projects which is 1 okay so again your idea or your target should be to get only 10 or 9 all the time and this rating is for each project that you do it is not an average it's not going to help you if you have done 20 projects earlier with a good rating and suddenly you have gone down understand this that the particular uh, project that you're working on right now will determine if you are able to do the next project or if you're getting the next project next one here is provide great work and admins will give you positive feedback now here the key takeaway is uh, several criteria are important to check before you submit to get a good rating okay so what are the things that uh, the admin will rate you on okay what worked extra well on this project so admins will get this kind of a view this is an admin view and there they will be able to uh, rate you based on the recreation of text consistency icons initiative creative structures illustration design deadline courage then uh, communication and complex tasks based on this you'll be getting an extra review by the admin so ensure that you do good work so that all these areas are taken care of the next thing is the admins give you feedback so can so you can improve okay so um, feedback is where the admin will specifically mention what are the areas where you can get better at like creativity, deadline, icons, the same things that we saw earlier, the admins will mark, okay, these are the things you can do probably better in the next project if you get one, okay? So here the takeaway is check your feedback after each project and improve in areas that need improvement, okay? So these are the areas that uh, where you should be doing better in the next project if you get one. Now, collaboration is the key to success and getting clients to return with more projects and money now collaboration is what what do you mean by collaboration collaboration is talking or working with the admin very closely okay here you can see the specialist plus admin collaboration okay now what are the different aspects of it be available and respond quickly okay availability is one aspect provide fair and useful feedback for both specialist and uh, admin both should provide fair and useful feedback then ask questions if in doubt both should ask each other if they're in doubt with, with any anything then think long term and don't let one project ruin the collaboration so 
you with uh, you will be working with that particular admin for a long time okay so don't let one bad project ruin your collaboration or your relationship so work with that admin uh, closely and try to have a good rapport with them so that you can get better work done together okay it will all result to returning clients and more money for both admin and the specialist the next thing is breaking the rules of good behavior can get you banned and even cause a financial penalty in some severe cases okay so what are the bad things that you should uh, avoid doing on nomoreplatform.com first is missing deadlines should not miss deadlines at all leaving a project you cannot leave a project half done because based on your availability and your promise of uh, doing this project correctly or with quality the admin must have promise something to the client if you leave the project in the middle and if you do not complete it then the admin will lose his uh, his credibility with the client and the client will not come back for more work so you cannot leave a project now not answering the admin or not submitting files uh, admin might ask you some questions you should be able to answer those and all the files that the admin will need for this project should be available and uh, should be made available to the admin as well Continuously submitting work of low quality you cannot uh, offer any low quality work to the admin. All the all the work that you deliver or submit should be of exquisite high quality. Okay. Now breach the non-disclosure agreements. Now NDA is very important. You cannot uh, break it up. You cannot go out of it. Uh, so keep keep an eye on that as well. Cheating on test projects. So test projects. Uh, I'm not too sure what they mean by cheating, but then cheating of any kind in any position should be avoided. Right? We are not going to cheat at all. Now, the last thing is argue with the admin. You cannot argue with the admin. Whatever the admin says, try to take it in a positive way. Try to you know, take it in a as a feedback and try to improve in the next project or whatever you work he has given. So do not argue with the admin. If you follow all this, you can make more money on nomoreplatform.com. That's all I have in this video. In the next video, we'll see a lot of example slides that they have provided on their platform, which will help us to prepare better for the test. Thanks a lot for your attention so far. I'll see you in the next video.